Good afternoon and welcome back to World of Warships. I'm Jaeger262 and I wanted to bring you the second part of the Azerlane World of Warships collaboration and the Bismarck missions. So, like I was talking about yesterday, this is kind of a two event coincidence. They just started in World of Warships to do their Bismarck missions, and today is the first day to do so. And I think you have until the 28th, it's so only four days, or a week. It's usually a week, but I, I think I saw it was only four days, I'm not sure I'll double check that. But basically what that means is, if you start playing German battleships, you will get experience, boost, you will get special missions, just like in World of Tanks when they do this, and the entire line is discounted. Now, because the Azerlane collab, this has been kind of the Bismarck's event. And that's because, like I said yesterday, in Azerlane, they are doing an event with the German battleship Bismarck because it has just been added to that game. However, the event actually doesn't center around Bismarck or any of the historical hunt for Bismarck ships. And it doesn't stop at Bismarck in World of Warships. It goes all the way, so if you already have the Bismarck, this does still apply to your discount for the tier 9 and tier 10 battleships. It was kind of just a coincidence that Azerlane launched that event at the same time they were doing the German battleship things, and because of the collaboration, I think World of Warships just took advantage of that coincidence. Anywho, I am trying to record a video of me actually playing Azerlane so I can show you some of the mechanics of that game and how it works. I'm just having trouble recording extended videos on my iPhone, so... Hopefully I'll get that fixed and it'll be a video after this one uploaded to show you that game. But for now, just explaining some things that I had forgotten. For anybody who is doing the Honor event, you have another month. And basically that was for the introduction of Russian battleships. And so if you go into the armory here, this is where you're actually going to be able to spend your allowance tokens. Now I did not know where to spend these and I didn't actually know what they were for. Hopefully it will load. There it is. So here's this. These are the allowance tokens. Now every time you play a game after you've picked a team, whether you're team victory or team honor, I believe I'm team honor today, you will get a certain amount of tokens. So usually, depending on how high of a tier you are, does impact it. But usually, what I've seen is if you win a game, you get 28, and then I think you get seven for every ship you sink. I obviously don't have a lot. I only have 104. But the reason I wanted to talk about these allowance tokens is not only because I missed it, but I also saw on the World of Warships website that these are actually being used to unlock a tier 7 cruiser, Soviet cruiser Lazo. Um, apparently it is event specific, so it's a special exclusive ship. You just need 1500 allowance tokens to unlock it. I'm very far away from that, but if you have a bunch you don't know where to spend them or what to do with them, go into the armory, go into victory part 1, and you can buy the cruiser there. Of course if you have the cruiser, you are able to buy camouflages, premium time, 160,000 credits, Soviet containers, and Soviet signals, whatever you like. Now, yesterday, I was talking about how, while they are selling Azure Lane containers for $10 and up, you can actually earn them. You just have to play in, I believe, Tier 5 and above. And those will be in the combat missions category. Somewhere. I don't know where that is. I had it last night. Now I can't seem to find it. There it is. Personal assignments. So the mission is for Ocean Current. Where at the end of it you will get the rank 10 commander HMS Hood. And like I was explaining about the app yesterday. All the ships in the game Azure Lane are personified, so they're people, which is this woman you see here, that's the HMS Hood. So you will not get the ship HMS Hood by completing the Ocean Current event missions. It, you will only be getting the Commander K-1 
character HMS Hood. I know it's confusing, but you'll be getting this person here as a commander, and if you happen to have the battleship hood, you can use it for that ship. You can use it for any ship, really, but I just thought it was funny, hood and hood. Now, to do these missions, it will be 10,000 XP per container going up, so I think it starts with 10 for 1, 20 for 2, 30 for 3, that sort of thing. Kind of the same as with any of the other container that you get over day-to-day -day course of playing World of Warships. So, pretty easy stuff. Uh, it depends on how much you play, whether or not you get it, but don't worry, you can get a commander at random, or you could just buy all the commanders in the premium shop, like I mentioned yesterday, if you really want the hood, if you really like Azure Lane, you don't want to go through the missions. If you don't care for the property, or if you don't know anything about Azure Lane, do the missions anyway, the crates are going to give you a lot of rewards beyond just the hood, so it's free, why not play it? That's it for this news video, just a little part two quick quips to kind of bring you up to speed. Now, I will be again attempting to do the Azure Lane video, not sure if I will, but if I get that uploaded, you'll be able to see just what makes it so different, why it's an interesting app but also why it's kind of weird because it is a little bit weird to get into if you're not really into ships and stuff so stay tuned for that give this video a like if you enjoyed it it goes a lot of way to supporting the channel please subscribe to the channel if you get notified any other time that i make a video or any other world of warships video world of tanks videos anything like that i always appreciate the support and as always thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time